what we're seeing is there's a lot more new players to the industry. There are new applications ranging from biodiesel production, wastewater treatment, to using methanol as a hydrogen carrier for fuel cells, and using methanol as a transportation fuel in cars, trucks, and buses. So every time you introduce a new user or a new producer or distributor, they have to be educated. They need to know about the risks of working with methanol and how to mitigate against those risks. is used worldwide as an effective chemical commodity and fuel. This video is an information resource for methanol and has been developed to promote the safe handling of methanol and minimization of health risks to employees, workplaces, the environment, and the community. It is a companion to the more comprehensive printed methanol safe handling manual, freely available at methanol.org. The key points we will cover in this video are the basic physical properties of methanol, the key risks associated with handling methanol, ways to minimize methanol exposure, fire, or release into the environment, and what to do in case of an event involving methanol. Let's start with the basics. What is methanol? Methanol is a basic chemical. Uh, it is used in the production of a whole range of materials. Also known as methyl or wood alcohol, methanol can be found in everything from windshield washer fluid to fuel cells. Methanol finds its way into literally thousands of, of different products, adhesives, paints, plywood, plastics. It's also used as an alternative fuel, uh, as an additive in gasoline to reduce uh, harmful emissions. It's used on its own as a racing fuel, very high octane, high performance, much safer than gasoline. Methanol is a colorless, organic liquid at room temperature and pressure. Let's look at methanol's basic physical properties. One, methanol is an easily ignited hydrocarbon that burns in air. Two, methanol vapor is heavier than air. As a result, if there is a release, methanol vapor may collect in confined spaces and low-lying areas. Three, in certain circumstances, methanol vapor explodes on ignition. Four, methanol is a toxin. Ingestion can cause death. Five, methanol is totally water-soluble. Let's look at the fire hazards of methanol. Methanol is extremely flammable and releases extremely flammable vapors at ambient temperatures and when mixed with air, it can burn in the open. The unique characteristic of methanol is that when it burns, you don't actually see the flame typically, uh, especially if you're looking at it into the sunlight or a bright light. Uh, sometimes you may see a, a shimmering like you would see on asphalt on a hot day, but you may not necessarily see a flame. During our drill, the fire department people walked up just to see what was going on and they said the fire department's approaching very slow. What's wrong? Why don't they get in there and really get involved in firefighting? Well, the fire department had some infrared devices that they were actually simulating looking at a fire as they approached. Using common sense safety practices, eliminating potential ignition sources is critical, like smoking, running vehicle engines, not using sparking tools. Hot work is the number one cause of death related to methanol handling. For example, welding, brazing, soldering, cutting, heat treating, grinding, or using power actuated tools. In the biodiesel industry, hot work is the number one safety concern that we have. We've actually had loss of life because of, of hot work being done on a storage tank or a methanol tank. Uh, where a spark or flame has caused an explosion. In 2006, an incident occurred when workers at a Florida wastewater treatment plant used an acetylene torch to cut a roof off a methanol storage tank. An explosion resulted, which claimed the lives of two workers and seriously injured a third. Some of the lessons learned from our investigation at the Bethune Point Wastewater Treatment Plant in Florida were that workers need to be trained in the hazards and understand the hazards of the materials they're dealing with as well as they need to have effective hot work programs to control ignition sources when working around flammable materials. The fire tetrahedron. The traditional fire triangle consisted of three elements, heat, fuel, and oxygen. The concept being you take any one of those away and the fire would go out. What scientists determine is that there actually is a fourth element in that combustion chain and that's what we call the chemical chain reaction. 
So now instead of calling it a fire triangle, we call it a fire tetrahedron. And that is how chemical extinguishers effectively deal with fires because it interrupts that chemical chain reaction. And in methanol, fires involving what we call pressure fires or three-dimensional fires, using a combination of water, foam, and the chemical extinguisher will put those fires out effectively. Basic safety measures. Methanol is toxic. Do not eat it, drink it, breathe it, or stand over it. Roots of exposure to methanol. Breathing it in. Skin contact, eye contact, and swallowing. Avoid breathing methanol vapors. If someone inhales methanol vapors, move the person to fresh air, assist breathing if necessary, and seek medical attention immediately. Symptoms of inhalation include irritation of respiratory tract, headaches, sleepiness, nausea, confusion, and loss of consciousness. Avoid getting methanol in your eyes. If you splash methanol in your eyes, flush with gently running water for at least 15 minutes. Lift the upper and lower lids during the flushing to ensure all accessible tissue of the eyes and the lids are flushed out and seek medical attention. Do not get methanol on your skin. If you do, remove any contaminated clothing, wash the exposed skin with copious amounts of soap and water, and seek medical attention if irritation or symptoms of toxicity develop. Never ingest methanol. Because it's an alcohol, people will tend sometimes to believe it's no different than any other alcohol that, that might be potable, but it's not. Methanol is particularly toxic when it's been ingested. As little as one quarter cup of methanol can prove to be fatal. Lesser amounts are known to cause irreversible blindness. If you suspect someone has ingested methanol, do not induce vomiting. Seek medical attention immediately. The symptoms of methanol poisoning may take up to 24 hours to appear and include weakness, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, dimness of vision, and loss of consciousness.